Hey guys, welcome to another special episode. This is another behind the box episode with my aquarium box for the month of September. Now this here is the fresh water box for $24.99. There's also a salt water box for $29.99. Uh, Mike, Mass Aquariums, is actually shooting a video right now which covers the saltwater box. So go check out his channel. I'll leave a link down below so you can go check it out. Um, so this is the freshwater box. So what I wanted to do was very quickly unbox this video, talk a little bit about the products inside, why we chose them, why we like them, and what's next. So before I get started on that, I actually want to show you what's next. What's next is this box right here. So this is a brand new box that was just designed and printed. So next month, instead of getting a white or a red box like this with a My Aquarium Box sticker on it, you're gonna get your very own My Aquarium Box custom branded cardboard box. Very cool, we're very excited about that and uh, hopefully, you'll like them as well. So, um, look forward to that next month. This was the last month with these boxes. Pretty excited. All right, so let's crack this thing open. All right, the first thing you're always gonna find in a My Aquarium box is what we call the scorecard. And if we look up close, we can see that this is a list of all of the products that are inside, along with, at the bottom, a small business spotlight. Small Business Spotlight is just spotlighting a small business, try to help drive some traffic to their website. In this case, it's manzanitadriftwood.com. You can check it out right there. And uh, if you go check out their website, they're offering 20% off of their buy two, get one free deal. So go check out the Driftwood from Manzanita Driftwood. And on the back, we have a list of all of our sponsors. So thanks again to all of the sponsors that are involved with My Aquarium Box. We can't do it without you, and I'm sure everyone really appreciates it. So there are two ways to win, and those are listed at the bottom of the back side of the scorecard. The first way is to shoot an unboxing video just like this. Upload it to YouTube and use the hashtag My Aquarium Box in the title of the video uh, in order to be entered to win and you can win a mega box sponsored by Marineland. It's the big products, it's the canister filters, it's the LED lights, it's the things from Marineland that are way too big to fit in a box this size, and it's a super good deal. So one person from the freshwater category and one person from the saltwater category every month win a mega box. Second way to win is our Facebook photo contest. All you need to do once you get this box in the mail is arrange all of the products very nicely, snap a photo, upload it to our Facebook page, and tell us what you liked about the box. That's it. One person every month who submits a photo is going to be selected as the winner of the photo contest. That's sponsored by Eheim, and you're going to get a Eheim product. A little bit smaller than the Marineland products, but Eheim products, super good quality stuff, uh, so very exciting there as well. All right, next up is the Omega One Photo Contest. Now, if you guys don't know, I believe this ends at the end of the month, so definitely go check this out. Omega One is running their annual photo contest. Snap a few photos of your aquariums, get some really nice shots, and uh, if they're good enough, they will be included in the next year's calendar from Omega One. And as a thank you, uh, the 12 winners, or 13 winners, get, um, get a year of fish food from Omega One. So definitely worth doing. All right, now we get into the products themselves. So the first thing we have here is Ken's Fish, and this is the Premium Brine Shrimp Flake. So if you have some fish, that are more of the meat lovers, or if you have some small fish that need uh, you know, a higher uh, amount of protein in their diet, brine shrimp flake is a great way to go. If you're feeding your fish live brine shrimp, um, you can crumble this stuff up to just about the same size, and it might be a great thing to do to sort of transition your fish from a live food to a flake food. So this is two ounces of brine shrimp flake, Definitely enough to last you quite a while, 
and that is from Ken's Fish. Next up, we have a sample size of the Hikari Sinking Wafers. Now, you might have gotten a different sample food from Hikari, but I believe everyone got a sample from Hikari. So thank you to Hikari for those sample foods. Sinking wafers are great for your bottom feeding fish, uh, crayfish, anything else that lives on the bottom of your aquarium. Uh, those will sink right down to the bottom. These ones are actually a little bit smaller than uh, some of your other sinking foods. So it's not gonna pollute your water. You can just toss a couple in and you'll make sure that you know you don't have a whole bunch of, of very solid uh, sinking food just sitting on the bottom of the aquarium. So definitely cool that these are sort of a, a smaller size product. The, uh, the actual disc itself is small. All right, next up is a deep blue air control kit. And for anyone that has multiple aquariums, for anyone that has an air pump that's capable of powering multiple air stones, or maybe you've got a, a sponge filter, maybe you're working on a DIY project and you need multiple sources of air in the same aquarium or in two aquariums that are side by side, the Deep Blue Air Control Kit is going to help you to hook all of that stuff up. And it's a little tough to see in there, but these are basically a combination of your aquarium tees so that you can split an airline in two, and also your control valve, so you can control how much air is going through each airline. So definitely a good little item to have on hand when you're working on an air project. All right, next up is Seachem Garlic Guard. And this is a product that probably not many people know about, but it's, it's a very interesting product. And typically what happens is if you have a fish that's wild caught, um, sometimes they don't start taking, um, you know, a, a pellet food right away. Uh, sometimes you have very finicky fish that are very difficult to feed. Seachem Garlic Guard is sort of a way to entice those fish to start eating your prepared foods. So all you do is you can dunk some of your pellet food in a little bit of garlic guard, uh, wait a few minutes, and then you can toss that in the tank and the fish are much more likely to eat that food. Uh, that can also work for fish food that is medicated perhaps, or fish food that might not necessarily taste good, but is important to feed to your fish. And so in that way, you can sort of uh, mask the flavor of a food with garlic guard to make those fish uh, more readily accept that food. Uh, also, if a fish is sort of underweight or stressed or something like that, and they're not eating enough food, this might help them uh, to eat more regularly. So definitely a good product to have on hand. All right, next up is a personal favorite of mine, and this is choya wood. This is basically the dried out husk of a cactus and it's cut into approximately six inch pieces here and these are excellent for your aquarium they will release some tannins in the water so it will discolor your water a little bit and these are basically raw like right right out of the wild so they have been you know air blasted clean but there are particulate particulate matter especially in the middle uh, which might start to come out uh, as you put these in the aquarium. So if you want to pre-wash these before you put them in the aquarium, it's not a bad thing. Now, I've got five different pieces here. They're all different shapes and sizes, and these are great for your aquariums that have shrimp in them. Uh, the shrimp will live inside of these. Uh, they'll feel more protected inside of them. They're also great for pleco tanks. Uh, whenever you have a pleco, especially if it's in a breeding tank with very small plecos, this is a great thing to add to those tanks as well because the plecos, the, the babies will live inside, the adults will chew on them and eat them, and over time these will start to degrade and fall apart, but they're mostly going to be eaten uh, along the way. So after a few months, you know, you might see that they go from, you know, a very robust structure here of cactus to just a, a thin shell or a thin husk. And at that point, you can toss them out and get some more. So definitely a cool little natural aquarium product here. You'll also see them used 
uh, in a variety of other animal setups from uh, hermit crabs to birds to other things. Um, so if you have any of those, you can you can always use them for those as well. Uh, but definitely a cool product to have in, the, in an aquarium for some of those smaller bottom dwelling creatures. All right, and then the last thing here, open this up. This is a uh, Pleco Cave. So this is the, um, uh, I believe this is the, this is the rectangular version of the Pleco Cave. So a few months ago, we did have a, um, a round version of the Pleco Cave. This is the rectangular version of the Pleco Cave. And this is good for any sort of medium to small size Plecos. Um, if you have Plecos and you're interested in breeding Plecos, these are a great way to get started. Oftentimes, the only thing a Pleco needs to breed is obviously a male and a female, and then a Pleco cave. As long as you're getting well fed, as long as you feed them zucchini and other you know, uh, fresh products, they will readily breed in a cave like this. So, rectangular Pleco cave. Very cool little product there as well. And that's it for my aquarium box for the month of September. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like, you can go check us out at myaquariumbox.com. It's a monthly subscription. You can cancel at any time. Again, this was the fresh water box for $24.99. This is a salt water box for $29.99. And the products change every single month. So if you want a really great deal, if you want to check out the latest and greatest aquarium products, go check it out. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.